What's up guys? I want to show you how easy it is to hook up our real deal touchless foam cannon. First you hook up this block here, just put it near your power washer somewhere. Put this bolt in the back of the injector, slip it in the eye hook, tighten it down. And uh, you're going to put your pickup tubes into your stars and stripes formulas. Just match the colors. Blue goes in stars, red goes in stripes. Then you're going to hook up your inlet hose for your jumper that comes with it. That's going to go over to the outlet of your power washer. Plug it right in where your hose was. Then hook up the hose you had on your power washer to the bottom of this valve. Swing it over to the left and then you're going to start foaming. This foam cannon has the ability to turn on and off the foam and rinse right at the lance that comes with it. So that's kind of a cool feature. There's no need for refills in this system and it's super accurate as far as how it's cutting. So this is cutting at about 140 parts water right now automatically. Switch your lever over to the stripe side, go back over it again so they mix on the surface of the vehicle. And then from this point, once they've mixed, just make sure you do manageably sized sections, especially if you have a lot of mirror polished aluminum and it's hot out and you want it to not get a chance to dry. Then you just switch it over to the rinse side, the lance. This will turn off your injector back at the power washer so you don't have to go back uh, in that direction. I rinse from the bottom up and the reason for that is uh, it helps me scrub up into the, into the foams and I feel like it gets me a little better finish. Maybe I'm crazy. The final rinse is top down though. And you could just go top down if that's your preference. It will save you a little bit of time, but the rinse is very important. It's like half of the, the whole wash. On the forward facing stuff, make sure you get real close. You're gonna wanna be able to get the bugs off and the really baked on road film, especially on a big rig like on the front of the stacks. And then that's that, you're good to go. Let that thing dry. Another cool thing that this valve can do if you take off the pickup tube, heat up the pickup tube a little bit, slip it off of there, pull the ratio tip out, put the 0.5 ratio tip in. That's going to cut 200 to 1 automatically, which is perfect for the new quat virus side for sanitizing large areas against coronavirus. Very handy, nice perk of this thing. Thought you guys might appreciate that. So check it out. Any questions at all, just let me know. I'd love to answer them for you. I hope this helps a little bit.